what's going on everybody this is DK Dynamite and this is gonna be my easy Easter egg guide here for Dead of the Night so let's jump right into it this is gonna take place right after you've unlocked Pack-a-Punch and have crafted both the Ballistic Shield and the Silver Bullets if you don't know how to do any of those things I'll have links to help you guys down below in the description but you're gonna want to return to each of the crystals that we previously used to activate Pack-a-Punch at the beginning of your your game now once you interact with these crystals again you should see one of the following three images a circular object which is a telescope a pile of twigs and a knight these are gonna be the three little quests we have to complete throughout the main Easter egg so each crystal of course has its own path but the order in which you complete these little paths does not matter so let's begin with the telescope path from the crystal we just looked at all you have to do is have all players go to the mausoleum and shoot the rod right above the mausoleum using silver bullets at the same time so as long as you have one zombie left this could be done in a matter of seconds if you have a shotgun like me you can jump shot the damn thing and it'll work once you've shot the actual rod the rod itself will disappear now you're gonna want to make your way over to the north atrium bridge and you'll see a panel with three wheels on it which will control the rings over the statues head all you have to do is line up the rotating parts to destroy the statue and connect the telescope to the greenhouse laboratory now I have an image on screen which is an easy solution to this little Rubik's cube like puzzle shout out to Greg FPS and maniac killer for sharing this over on Twitter this works every time as long as you follow these exact steps it'll always solve the puzzle for you Next up, you're going to want to search for these three zodiac symbols here around the map. And don't freak out. There are some easy locations that I'm going to show on screen. And I'm also going to show all the possible rooms that could contain a zodiac symbol. So along with a zodiac symbol that you find, there will be three different scratch mark patterns in that same room where the zodiac is located, which will indicate the order in which you then input the zodiac symbols over at the greenhouse. So I'm going to show every single location that I found the zodiac symbol in my game as well as where the scratch marks are and even where other zodiac symbols and scratch marks could spawn when you're playing dead of the night here we go So coming back to my perspective here, I of course found the zodiac symbol known as Pisces here in the dining room. And if we look at all the scratch mark locations, we have scratch marks in two of the three possible spots in this room. And when we add those scratch marks up, we have four plus three, which is seven. So we're gonna come back to that number later. We just have to remember that Pisces equals the number seven. Now as we move into Danu, which is the entrance hall, we can also see that we have scratch marks in all three possible spots which add up to the number 11 so that's going to be a head of Pisces and the zodiac symbol in this room is of course the Leo so you guys kind of see what I'm getting at here and as we move on to the third and final room that I found the zodiac symbol in we have the cancer here in the trophy room and if we add up all the scratch marks which actually spawned in all three possible spots we get the number 13 so if we put that in order we have Pisces 
with 7, Leo with 11, and Cancer with 13. So we know the order is going to be Pisces, Leo, and Cancer. Now we're going to move over to the greenhouse, and if you come upstairs here, you'll see the zodiac symbols on this dial. All you have to do is continue holding square to cycle through the zodiac symbols, and when you find the specific one you need, you just melee it to actually input it. So we're obviously going to input Pisces, then Leo, and then Cancer. Once you've done that, the roof will open up there as you can see and all you have to do next is take out a ballistic shield continue holding square on this valve or x if you're on xbox and just continue holding it and as you hold it for about three seconds you're going to want to bash the valve itself to break it and once you've actually broken this valve we can move on to a pretty simple step which does involve the rest of your team or whoever else is in your game and you're going to have to activate this electric trap have everybody with the shield go under it so that your shield can hold some lightning charge similar to Zetsubo no Shima, you're going to want to run back upstairs and melee the telescope. If everybody does this at the same time, it'll actually turn on the telescope itself and it can lead you to the final step of the telescope quest. So now that the telescope is on, you'll see this slab down here in this machine and if everybody holds square on this slab for about five or six seconds, it'll activate this lockdown. All you have to do is survive the lockdown you don't necessarily have to kill anything in this room if you're good at training, but if you guys want to get some extra points, go ahead and kill away. We have a bunch of werewolves, vampires, and zombies, including Catalyst, here in this room. You cannot leave the greenhouse while you're in this lockdown, but once again, it's a timed lockdown, so you don't have to necessarily kill anything in this room, but it is worth stacking up on some points since we will need some points later on during this Easter egg. Now, once the lockdown is over, your screen will turn white, the slab will stop spinning and it'll grant you with a max ammo essentially congratulating you for completing one third of this entire easter egg here in dead of the night and we can move on to the next quest which is going to be the ritual in the cemetery so you do need the fully upgraded wonder weapon also known as alistair's annihilator in order to do this little quest in the cemetery i'll have a link down below in the description if you don't know how to upgrade your alistair's foley to tier number three which is Alistair's Annihilator. So the first step is going to sound a little bit silly, but you're going to be shooting very specific branches here in the cemetery. I've seen a lot of people say that these branches do stand out compared to other branches, and that might be the case for some people when I take a look at this step, but just follow my lead and shoot the exact branches that I'm shooting. There are five total, and they never switch spawns here in the cemetery, so it should be quite easy for you guys to do that. Now, also keep in mind, you can do these steps in any order, but I just organize these steps to go with a certain quest the telescope the ritual and the knights but obviously i did this step before i even completed the telescope quest which you can always do or you can wait to do it later on in your game but as you collect all five of these branches it'll form a little scarecrow in the center of the cemetery here and once you've done that you're gonna want to take a look at all these gravestones here in the cemetery and find the one that reads 1912 as the death date one specific player in your game will have this gravestone stating that they've died here in 1912. All you have to do is find that specific character that links to that gravestone, have that character interact with the gravestone, and they'll be entering spirit mode. Now what you want to do is have a player shoot the ground in front of the scarecrow until they get the fireball charge from Alistair's Annihilator. Once again, it is RNG. You can get plenty of other elements from Alistair's Annihilator. You'll never get the fireball every time. Just keep doing a charge shot right in front of the scarecrow, and once you've gotten the fireball, that player player then wants to interact with the scarecrow they'll then enter this ritual mode and they will essentially die now that they're in this ghost mode nobody else in their game can see this player except the enemies of course now the player is going to want to head inside the mansion and search for a ghost woman which is wandering around in any random room i'd recommend turning on subtitles so that when you do run into the ghost you can exactly pinpoint where she is and your character will of course say a quote when she is found once you you do find the ghost woman which could be in the wine cellar dining room music room just about anywhere you're gonna want to follow her and she'll actually go back to the gravestone and she will produce a large column of flames a stone slab will then spawn on the ground and the player in afterlife mode will have to interact with it so that other players can then see the stone this will be the second lockdown here in dead of the night and we're very close to completing the entire easter egg so once every player interacts with the stone they'll go in the lockdown 
they're stuck in the cemetery you can train around you can kill do whatever it is you want to do and once the ritual is actually complete or the lockdown i could say you can then get another max ammo from the stone slab and we're now two-thirds of the way complete with the main easter egg here in the map moving on to the night quest you're also going to need the fully upgraded wonder weapon also known as alistair's annihilator and you're going to want to insert the fire gate energy cores into the trap at the library and even at danu this will always help you out with this step and if you don't know where to find the fire gate energy cores i'll have a link to help you guys down below in the description but all you want to do is turn on the trap shoot the fire with a charged annihilator shot and the fire should go blue now you're going to want to enter the fire with your shield out and you should see blue fire effects on your shield all you have to do now is ignite four fireplaces in three different iterations using your melee with your shield it doesn't matter which set you actually start with but you're going to want to do each of these sets in a very specific order so we'll start with the first step which is the easiest in my opinion we have the trophy room master bedroom music room and dining as long as you ignite these fireplaces in that order the fire should stick and it'll then grant you with a part which you can grab from the fourth fireplace that you ignite we then have another set which is the main hall left the east gallery the main hall right and the west gallery once again a teammate can help you out with this step or if you have stamina up you could try this on solo if you have a good strat with running up and down the stairs it is not that hard but once again once you've ignited the fourth fireplace in that set it'll grant you with a part now for the third and final set we have the smoking room the library right and left then billiards so do that in that exact order and you'll be granted with the third and final part for this quest i do apologize if the textures look a little bit weird i did gather some of this footage from theater mode from a buddy of mine's perspective now that you have these three parts you're going to want to interact with the three knights here around the map we have one in the main hall one in the greenhouse and one near the cemetery and once you interact with these knights these crystals will spawn out of the knights and you have to stay close to them as they will not follow you if you run too far away from them but if you kind of escort them towards the forest they will stick right by you they can stick onto any other player in your game as well if you were to walk too far away from it and a teammate got close to it they'll just latch right onto him or her so after you actually escort all three symbols to the forest these symbols will actually link up to their designated symbols on the ground so you can kind of color coordinate which ones go where we have a pink one a blue one and a green one so just mark up and link where these actual crystals go and they'll just stay right in place on their designated symbol and you can move on to the next step which is to actually kill zombies near these knights that spawn where the crystals were so as these knights collect souls the knights will actually move towards the pack-a-punch machine and you have to do this for all three knights here in the forest i would highly recommend using your alistair's annihilator throwing homoculus using your special weapons this could get intense especially if you're on a high round doing this step but once all three knights have linked right in front of the pack-a-punch they'll form a triangle now all you have to do is kill a werewolf inside this triangle created by the knights and the third and final stone slab should appear keep in mind the rocket launcher with four times pack a punch is absolutely insane against these werewolves so i would highly recommend having at least one player on your team carrying this rocket launcher but once you've done that all players can interact with this final stone slab and it'll activate the final lockdown here in the forest and it works just as the other lockdown did where you could either hold the zombies and train them or you can kill them all and get some more points whatever it is you want to do depending on when exactly you do the night quest here in game but once you've completed the lockdown these stone slabs will disappear and grant you with a max ammo and now we're moving on to the actual boss fight so make sure everybody has exactly what they need they have their perks their pack a bunch of weapons a ballistic shield some uh, special weapons charged up make sure you guys are absolutely prepared because you will not return after doing this boss fight so keep in mind silver bullets on your weapons will actually help you but what's going to help you even more is the actual steak knife so check out my guide down below in the description because a steak knife can almost insta kill this giant boss it's essentially the plunger as we had back in the rising for those panzers so 
there is going to be a max ammo and the carpenter in the two corners of this boss arena and more of them will spawn as you enter the next two phases of this boss fight so with phase one a large glowing green square will appear on the ground you're gonna have to rotate the statues around the edge of the arena so that the beams of light cast towards that green glowing square the white beams will then turn green as if they're aligned and the giant werewolf will actually spawn on this green square and he will just stand on it now you're gonna have to shoot his weak points with your silver bullets you can use your wonder weapon your special weapon but what i would recommend is getting super close to him and just knifing the hell out of him so if you have homoculus throw those and just knife the giant boss and he'll go down pretty quickly now as you enter phase two there are no designated steps for this actual phase just survive the various catalysts vampires zombies and the werewolves that attack you once you've held out long enough the boss werewolf will just jump back into the arena and another max ammo and carpenter will spawn for you guys just make sure you conserve your ammo and repair your shields accordingly now for the third and final phase this phase is going to be similar to phase one except that glowing green square will be invisible until found by a statue so don't freak out just make sure you provide some cover for your teammates throw homoculus use your specialist weapons and and continue rotating those statues around the edge until those white beams turn green once you've turned all three correctly the trap will be set and you can then lure the boss into the green square to damage him once again keep in mind he's essentially invisible when he's underground so try to stay away from where he actually is below you so that he doesn't insta down you so once he gets into that green square you can damage him again use your rocket launchers which absolutely obliterate him knife him with your steak knife shoot him with those silver bullets and your annihilator and boom the giant ass werewolf will die congratulations you You've survived dead of the night and you've now unlocked the silver trophy known as trial by ordeal consisting of you defeating the evil within hope you guys found this easy guide very helpful and enjoy the cutscene everybody this has been dk dynamite peace